Hello guys, welcome to a different type of video. I kind of got bored, you know, editing and editing, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to record this brand new game I got, and I'm going to talk you through it. So as you saw the title screen, it's called Earth Defense for 4.1, something else in... I got no idea what it was called. Earth Defense for something of a... Well, you get what I mean. The reason I got this game is because I got third one on PC for during the Steam sale and I love that I really like the mechanics of the game. I know it's for PS3 and Xbox 360 and I said, you know what, this is awesome. And as you can see it has split screen, which for the PS3 and Xbox 360 also has. It also has for online multiplayer, which is good if you want to play through it with some friends. I tried the multiplayer, unfortunately this is not the video where I tried it, but is cool except that the guy as you can see the wing diver the air rider is the one who can call up tanks the wing diver cannot actually climb i mean he, she can fly but she cannot uh she cannot get in vehicles the fencer that is cool but it's not really my type ranger the ranger is the most basic one so as you can see i'm going with the and as, as I was saying before, is that I joined as a wing diver with a multiplayer, and this guy, it was, I think it was the final mission, this guy had the air rider, oh, he had, he dropped in a big ass Power Rangers style of robot, it was awesome, which was my objective, but for today, I'm, this was me trying, I see the color armor, it's a really nice touch, gives a bigger personality, I will have a lot more different, a little more, broad personality like customization of weapons but I mean eh. at the same time for example lack of strap maybe you don't pay attention to it because all I carry is aim and shoot the armor you get armor each time you beat a level you level up um, so automatically the math 150 for the wind diver so far I'm, I am 219 on the ranger we play in it the thing about the wind diver I didn't like it's kind of weak, and as you can see, the settings are not really settings. But it, it, it is kind of weak, you can see what I mean. So, I usually like to know how to play. So, it's a two attack, L1 zoom, L2 jump, R1 to switch, spread reload, of course, circles, big rescue, spot, touchpad. The touchpad, the touchpad, I don't really don't use it. I know you can communicate with the AI, which is more a lot more smarter than everything things for it. Three in second like Armageddon, which is the one I have because those they just die and they, they don't care, they don't give a damn about it. Which is good, I'm saying with you top right, you did a good job, bottom you did a EDF, EDF, which really does not make any point to it. So, you know, giving a bit of how it looks, this is the first mission. I haven't finished in second action, um, Earth Defense Force 3, therefore. I believe we eradicated all the bugs, but now they're back. These are the difficulty, uh, more difficult, uh, of course, challenging, but you get more rewards, which is good. You get more weapons, more abilities. I try to do one with the air rider. That guy sucks. It looks, I mean, it doesn't suck, but it's kind of more advanced. It's gonna, it goes like this. It goes first ranger, then wind diver. Well, she has the list. I mean, that's the difficulty. The air fencer is the most. The fencer guy is the most difficult one. So, as you can see, people and boom, big ass ants. I would not expect it that, but they're cool, huh? So, yeah, you see blood. I don't remember blood in the third one. Another cool thing is this game runs 1080p, 30, 60 frames per second, I believe. There it, correct me if I'm wrong on the comments, I'm not sure, but I believe it does that because when I played it, I was like, this runs smoothly. Not only that, when you shoot people with the air rider, which I don't know if I even recorded that, you have a howitzer artillery attack, that turns this guy red, and you, no lag, no nothing, just perfect. So I'm here, you see my little bar, that's my jet, I got like, okay, what is this? Yes, yes, no, I'm just gonna cancel that. So, little bar is jetpack, how much flies your energy. 
the missile, I'm like, oh, that's cool. But then, you know, you're not. So, yeah, trying to conserve a little bit more energy. I mean, I play this uh, with my cousin, actually, and I, uh, I like it, but it's really like this type, but I, I like this kind of games. I play this when I just don't want to play Overwatch, you know, just to competitive. Even Overwatch, I just play a bot sometimes. But I mean, it's just a good game to pass the time. In normal, if you try hard, you make sure to get some really good armor and new weapons. So, you know, I'm killing the ends. Very easy, and you, when you touch the touch pad, it gives that which commands them, and you see how it strikes. It commands uh, your AI to do whatever you want to go there, maybe to pay attention to shoot the enemy. So, I go through the game and say, hey, I don't know. Oh, yes, I went through it again because of the hot size. You see, it's too big for my taste, and the rotation it was too slow. So, there you go. I'm like, okay, it's a little better. So I see, I like this weapon because it really doesn't reload, it's mostly, but it's really dependent on the energy bar. The Ranger is actually a one. Well, it depends, there's actually a weapon here. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> That's what I like. It reminds me of the... Oh, was the Nintendo game where you were Donkey you were Don King Kong and the Lizard. I have it, but I just can't remember the name of it. Uh, it reminds me of that game. I'll put a picture. Yeah, yeah. I want to see a lot of that game destruction wise, which is something. If it's for destruction, I really much enjoy it. I really like when it has destruction. I find it really, really. I like it. I just like it. So I said, okay, you can get it in tanks, but I couldn't get it. I did not. Know why? But you only can do that if you are an air raider. I mean. Yes, a narrator and a ranger. I'm not sure about the ranger. So yeah, those are the ones. I see I changed the hot sales. Can I do what I doing there? It's mostly me playing with the same skills as me, I should call it that. But it was, you know, it's a new game, so I need to get used to it. Now I get used to it. Uh, to uh, typical trail of failure and we try. Failing and retrying is basically the only way you're going to learn everything. Either that you just can do better on life. Or not. I, don't, I like to experience it even if I do some matches on mission. Now, you see how powerful this thing is. And I like it. It's a good game. So I'm just going to leave you here, guys. I'm going to leave you the rest of the video. I'm going to do this a weird different type of way. So, make sure to leave a like or comment. I mean, just comment on whatever video game you want to play. Just say it on the spot. So, it's the later guys. So, goodbye.
again after seven years but soon they'll be an endangered species there's nothing to fear let's exterminate them yes, yes sir if i go take care keep the giant creatures away from the tanks 